Okay, so I wanted to do a short video on how you can uh, heat up your reptile room uh, without wasting a lot of space. Um, a lot of people use the standard oil-filled radiant heaters. Uh, my only issue with those is they take up a lot of space, and you really don't want one right next to your rack or your enclosure because um, you know they're going to produce a lot of heat in that in that small area. So I like these wall-mounted guys that go up on the wall. And I'll provide a link in the comments below uh, to where you can get one of these. But you can see it's just a wall-mounted, uh, basically it's basically like a, a really big radiant heat panel. Um, it looks like it's maybe about two foot by two foot. This one might this one's a bigger model. It might be three foot by three foot. Um, it just screws into the wall. It's very solid. Um, they produce a decent amount of heat, not as much as the oil-filled radiant heaters. But they usually produce plenty to heat up a, uh, a standard room as long as, you know, it, it, it's heated to normal, comfortable te temperatures. This will, you know, probably heat it up another 5 to 10 degrees. Now, you can see I've just got it taped along the wall. And uh, those those sort of homemade curtain there, just because I don't like a lot of uh, light to come into my reptile rooms where it can possibly overheat my, uh, my rack systems. Uh, if it comes in at just the right angle. I use dual thermostats. Now, the reason I do this, you see there at the top is your standard uh, hydrofarm, which I'll also provide a link to. Those are fine as far as accuracy. They'll get you within a couple degrees, but they can stick in the on position. If it sticks in the on position, your entire reptile room is, is very likely to get fried. Um, so you're talking about spending a few extra bucks to double up on thermostats to protect hundreds or even thousands of dollars in reptiles. Plus, you know, however many months or years you spend raising those up to breeding size. So I've got that guy right there, the jump start, uh, your standard, you know, 30 to $40, uh, thermostat. And I've got it plugged into another guy here. Uh, this is also available on Amazon. I'll provide a link to it. Just another little, uh, cheapy thermostat. Um, probably another 30 to $40. Um, again, I wouldn't trust either of these alone, but in tandem, um, you know, they work pretty good. Um, so they should be safe as long as you're using them in conjunction with each other and keeping an eye on both of them so that if one fails, the other, uh, which is obviously set at a few degrees higher, is, is you know, working as the backup.